Civil Engineering Academy, helping you in your journey to pass the PE. All right, welcome to Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a problem from transportation. The problem states a horizontal circular curve has PC at coordinates 5333.64 north and 1034.32 west. The curve radius is 10, 1030 feet. The tangent at the PC has bearing of south 43 degrees 30 minutes west. The length of the curve is 656.35 and it's asking what the coordinates of the PI are. So let's draw what we're given. We have some point, here it is, and they're calling this point PC. And if you're using your civil engineering reference manual, chapter 78 has everything about horizontal curves, including a nice uh, figure, figure 78.1 in the edition that I'm using, that goes over these points, PC, PI, PT, so point of curvature. So this point here has a northing of 5333.64 north and a westing of 1034.32 west. That's this point. The curve of radius, so I'm just going to write this off to the side. The radius is 1,000 or 1,030 feet. And the tangent, okay, the tangent at the PC has a bearing. So the tangent at the PC, the tangent at the PC. So the tangent is basically a straight line. So let's draw what this is. So it's saying south. If you got your grid, you know north is up. East is this way. Southwest, never eat soggy waffles. Okay. So we're going south, west. I'll draw this in here. This angle is this. Now I'm going to draw it in degrees. Uh, 43 degrees, 30 minutes. 30 minutes is half a degree. So 60, 60 minutes equals 1 degree. And 30 minutes is equal to half a degree. Okay? Just divided by 60. 60 minutes and 1 degree. Alright, so this angle, if we were to draw this, is 43.5 degrees. That's what this angle is. And we hit this point, it is called our PI. And this is T, tangent. This probably makes more sense if you're looking at this figure, 78.1. You can see where PC is. You can see how a tangent connects it to PI. And the curve, the actual curve of the horizontal curve lies. So if I were to connect something, it would touch PC and keep going. It wouldn't actually touch PI. So your curve is something like something like that and over here would be your PT okay over here PT anyway we, we don't really need to know that so uh, what I'm what I need to do is I need to solve for T and you can see some equations in chapter 78 I'm specifically going to use equation 78.4 as well as 78.3 and that tells me that the tangent is equal to the radius times the tangent of i over 2. Well, we don't know what i is, but this next equation, 78.3, tells us that, well, not i, tells us that L is equal to 2 pi ri over 360. So let's get that solve for i. i is equal to 360L over 2 pi r. Well, we know L and we know r, so we can solve for i. Let's just plug it all in. 360 times L. The L length of curve, I didn't write that in, but L is given as 656.35 feet. Okay, so that's 656.35 
all divided by 2 pi times r, which was 1030 feet. What does that give me? I get a I an interior angle here of 36.51. 36.51. Now I can plug this back into this guy, and let's solve for that. So T equals R, which is 1030, times the tangent of 36.51 over 2. Okay, and the tangent that gives me, if I punch this in right, is 339.74 feet. So we just solved for this dimension, 339.74. Okay, now that we know the tangent, 339.74, we can go ahead and just do some geometry here, some algebra, get, get the answer that we need. So if we actually drew a triangle in here, this is y, this is x, we can say that x is equal to 339.74 tangent times the sine of the angle. Oops, sine of 43.5. And the y is going to be 339.74 cosine of the angle. Okay, so what are those two give me? I get 233.86 and I get 246.44. Now, because we know this stuff right here, all we need to do is subtract our values and get a new coordinate for pi. So let's get our northing. The northing is going to be the 5333.64 minus 246.44, which is going to equal 5087.2. And the westing is going to be 1034.32 minus 233.86, which equals 800.46 west. Okay, 5087.2 north. So these are some tricky answers because you could screw up on maybe uh, the angle. Maybe it's maybe you headed uh, northwest or something. And, so they, they throw in answers that are similar. But you have 5087.2, that's this, and 800.46. So this is D. Answer D. Anyway, I hope that helped you out. Head on over to Civil Engineering Academy for more tips and tricks related to the PE exam. Thanks, buddy.